Anyway, on to another totally different topic. Let's jump into our top stories. We're talking about the big one yesterday. UAE government is investing 24 billion to create 75,000 new private sector jobs for Emiratis. So huge news on the Emiratization front. Yesterday, the UAE announced 50 new projects which will incentivize and encourage Emiratis to join the private sector. The program will now drive private sector opportunities for both young and experienced Emiratis with an investment, like I said, of 24 billion to create those 75,000 new jobs. Um, the announcements were made yesterday via UAE Gov on Twitter. They include grants for students and fresh graduates that will take up uh, to take up roles in the private sector, a billion dirham graduate business development fund, a government packed new private sector child allowance, excuse me, and unemployment benefits. So there's a whole rake of new announcements that came through yesterday. Really, really interesting. We shared them all on Lovin in terms of um, the, different, uh, the different ways they will encourage Emiratis to join the private sector, uh, such as, let's say, for example, if you are a fresh graduate, and you're joining the, a fresh graduate Emirati and they want you to enjo- join the private sector for the first time, there'll be a salary top up, oh. uh, depending as long as you're hitting okay. certain targets of a couple of thousand dirhams per month, for example. They'll also encourage different sectors. So for example, if you work in the, uh, there's the merit program. So this incentivizes Emiratis in particular fields. So nurses, accountants, financial auditors, financial analysis and coders, if you join the private sector, you'll get a 5k uh, salary top up. But as well as that, there's a lot more um, more incentive, incentives to make it happen, such as the unemployment benefit for Emiratis. So if they lose their jobs, circumstances beyond their control, uh, they'll receive a small um, amount of money from the government to ensure that uh, they'll give them a, a, their salary for six month period. So it's just kind of things That's that incredible. kind of really protect them in the private sector but like I've just kind of gone through a couple of ones there's some really really incredible ones for example subsidized career breaks Mm. a six to 12 month career break if you want to go into an entrepreneurship role the government will give you an amount of your salary this will be available for a limited number of people uh, to really encourage entrepreneurship and there's even um, the pension program this is the last one I'll go through but there's so many the pension program will bring the uh, pension program A subsidy against the pension plan contributing to Eddie's, <clears throat> excuse me, Emirati of uh, earning less than 20k a month. That wasn't the one I meant. But this Sorry. is incredible. Like the amount they're doing for their citizens, like so many, like for example, Canada, they once you get the citizenship and for their own people, like they have the, you know, um, so during COVID, when the, uh, for those who weren't earning, they were giving them a certain amount, like an allowance. Mm. So over here also, they're uh, st- introducing something like this to make sure their citizens are taken care of and of course every country wants to look after their citizens first their own people first so these are huge schemes to ensure the well-being and the uh, just the wholesomeness for their own people and that's incredible like 100 there's so many interesting ones that we could go through um just be be aware let's say like two percent of emiratis are in the workforce who are knowledge and skilled workers um And this is rising and they're really just trying to encourage the private sector um, and also encourage entrepreneurship. There's there's one, I'm just looking for the details, but it's uh, when you are near retirement age, they'll give you a specific sum that encourages you to go and uh, start your own business. Oh, wow. Which I just think is incredible. Um, It's a billion fund under the patronage of a signage Sheikh Mansour, another one. to uh, provide microloans for university students and fresh grads to support their business projects. So university students and fresh graduates will get this fund from the government to pursue entrepreneurship. It's just fantastic. And like you said, um, the government is really looking after their own citizens. And uh, when we look at um, our own countries, it's something that we wish we had as yeah, we were, true. you know, 100%. Like I look, look at um, lots of different countries and this is the type of leadership that you really, really admire because it's investing in its people. I think it's amazing. Very true. Exactly like what you said. You, when you see this, you would wish like, okay, your own country does this for its own people and citizens, like introduces these grants and schemes. So it's really, and more jobs and more uh, like them, Emiratis getting into entrepreneurship, starting new businesses is just like, it'll trickle down. So it's exactly. at the end of the day, like they will have to hire expats. So ex, like there, there'll be a job boom for expats. So it's all just, You know, it plays out like for benefits for them and will lead into benefits for expats. So 
brilliant, brilliant and it's team. and it's all this is of course uh on hand with the 50 year celebrations so with all of these plans and developments and progress it's the ue looking ahead for 50 years so as simran said it will trickle down so this is the announcement made now the investment will come over a number of years and then you'll see that trickle down into different different aspects of society like the ue is always considering future growth and considering how we can change and progress and this is one of the big announcements that came yesterday so super